G'day there mates, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy, welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we're in Marvel's Midnight Suns, we will be going over all of the challenge missions for every hero in the game to unlock their legendary ability and their legendary armor. As you see, I've already completed them, but I'll still be going over them all the same. That being said, in order to unlock the challenges here, you first must do the research Forge and Hellfire, which unlocks the armory. Now, in order to unlock this research, you must be reached level 4 first and completed 4 missions with Ghost Rider. Once that is done, get the research done, put it into the put it into the forge area here, and then you can start doing challenges. Now, again, challenges can only be unlocked when you have a uh, friendship level 5 with every hero. Hulk on the other hand is the exception. You can only unlock his once you do all the research that is uh, given by Bruce Banner. Anyway, I'll be going over one of them for you. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, our first challenge we're going to be doing is the Hunter's Challenge, Child of Darkness. While we've already done this before, I figured I'd show it to you guys again as part of the uh, whole video. Now, what Hunter needs to do is to pretty much destroy the crystal at the other side of that. And to do that, we're going to have to knock back an enemy into it. So, Hunter cannot move in this, but he has unlimited play, card plays. So, the first thing we want to do is to use charge here and knock the enemy over there, over there between those two bits of rubble. And for a while, you'll see in a sec. Now with that, we need to charge the enemy that is behind the one we knocked back to get the charge card that's behind it. But not only that, the reason we did this is so we can get into position next to the enemy that we charged before. Now charging him again, we're going to knock him down between those two bits of rubble to get him on the other side there. With that, we're now going to take down the enemy that has the uh, whip card. I'm going to be using that to knock the other one into the crystal and also get in position so we can get this knock him down there. So charge him again down towards the crystal and then you are in position to get the uh, whip, use the whip card on the crystal, on the enemy to hit it into the crystal, sorry. And with that, we have unlocked that crystal and gained the Blade Storm card, which does end damage and forceful knockback to enemies in the area. So watch and enjoy. Very savage indeed. <laughs> that guy has been very helpful to me. So yeah, we already done it before, but doing it again will unlock the card for you and the ability to forge it, and he's been nice son's outfit. Okay, so our next challenge is going to be Blade's challenge, Bear Fangs. This will unlock his Midnight Sun armor and the legendary heroic card, Glaive. Now this one, it's going to be a bit more technical than what Hunter was, but it's still not difficult to do, you just need to know where to apply your cards right. Now, the enemies we've got here are going to be three of them, and unlike what we did with Hunter, we need to um, take out the guy in the middle to get gl the uh, glaive ability. Now this is going to be a bit of a process to work up on, because what we need to do is to apply as many stacks of the bleed stack, uh, the buff onto the middle guy there, so we can use Reaper here to deal major damage to him. But before that, we're gonna to have to get to make them bleed from this guy here. So, quick strike on him, and then after that, use Relentless to deal that extra damage to this guy here. <clears throat> Once we've got bleed in hand, so I make them bleed in hand. Use it to draw an extra card and to apply two bits of bleed to all your other cards. With strike in hand, use it on both of the enemies here to apply two bits of bleed to them. 
After that, use Dave Walker. Now you're gonna have to wait a bit because I'm still doing the recording or trying to figure things out. But what you want to do is to use Dave Walker once on the uh, lesser one on the uh, left there, and then use it the rest of the time on the guy on the right. In the middle, sorry. And with that, uh, now you want to use Quick Strike on the uh, guy on the left here to take him out and get the um, Reaper card. And with that, when we, we're going to use Reaper on the middle guy that will consume all the bleed he has and deal that extra damage. And with that, we got Glaive. So the final bit is just to use it on the middle again. What this does is uh, pretty much damages and apply two bits of bleed to the enemy. <laughs> what a show off. Anyway, that is uh, how you do blades a challenge to acquire always a bit. Moving on to the next one then, shall we? Okay, so up next we got Captain Marvel's challenge, Hero's Heart. This one is, and then again, it's going to be applying to her strengths, which rely on her getting shield buffs. So again, redraw and move are disabled. Now the all hit in uh, card that we got at the enemy, we're going to need. So first of all, just use quick jab. To at least damage him a bit. And to taunt him to get him on Captain Marvel if he wasn't already on there. Again, I was still thinking pretty much during the challenge here, so you're gonna have to wait a bit. Next up, you want to use um, Cosmic Ray. And get that extra damage. Now, that being said, you, we're also trying to build up a heroism for. Um, Rain and blows here. Now use a fist of radiant to knock the enemy back into the crystal there. Okay, now we got the go binary ability. Now this is good because we wanted to keep that because when we go binary we deal extra damage with our cards. So use knee strike on the enemy here to gain a bit of an um, extra block depending on how much damage we deal. So that's, it's good to save that card for when we go binary. Next up we want to use one step ahead here. Again, sorry for, for, for taking such a long time to decide, but I'm pretty much doing voiceover recording here after I've recorded the uh, whole thing. Now, with that, we're going to use regroup here to gain some more shield. I mean, block, sorry. Okay, so while past me, we'll still decide. The next card we're going to be using here is a uh, all in. This will consume all our block in order to um, gain some extra power. So with that, we're now going to be using uh, Fist of Radiance again to do some that good damage onto the crystal. Now I know we could use it, use random blows, but you want to use Fist of Radiance first. With that, now we can use a uh, random blows to destroy the crystal. And with that, we now have our final bit to do. And we get to use Supernova. Damage is all enemies in the area. Blow. 
bloody hell, that was dangerous. <laughs> so yeah, that is Captain Marvel's challenge. Moving on to the next one then. Moving on to our next challenge, we have Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange's challenge, and the Strange Memories. This will unlock the Seven Sons of Cinnabus and his Midnight Sun armor. Man, look at the birds talking again. Great. Now, once again, this one's going to be a bit of a process of what we need to do here. Once again, if any can't plays, can't move, can't withdraw. If there's no more cards, we lose. We need to defeat the Whispers of Memory to get the uh, card. So, we've got the Blessings uh, blessings, and Archimodos Gaze, with these ones here. And we've got, uh, I don't know what that's called. So here we've got those Bolt, bolt Abilities. Now what we want to do here is to, if I remember right, take out at least one enemy on each side. So first we want to take out the one, so we can get the Blessing here. After that, we want to use the Blessing to get extra damage onto the cards. Now the reason for that is because I'm trying to build up the um, damage on these cards here. That's for why you'll see in a sec. So I use Bolt again to get Archimodos Gaze. And after that you want to use that right away draw two extra cards. So use the uh, lesser boss to take out the two lesser enemies here. Gain another set of uh, Blessing and Archimonds Gaze. Now with that we want to use Archimonds Gaze again to draw two more cards. After which, we will apply a blessing to it to both power up these cards as well. So, what we want to do is to use the one that we powered up to. I can't really see it. Use this one here that has 27 attack to gain that uh, card there. And the reason for that is, it will it will duplicate one of the random cards we have, and draw two of them. So we pretty much have enough power to take down that crystal after using all four. With that, we now have the legendary card, Sons of Cinnabus, which does damage within the area and enhances that damage depending on how much heroic we have. That was quite lethal. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Stranger's Challenge and got his armor and card. Moving on to the next one. So, moving on, we're going to be doing Ghost Riders, which is Dark Hunt. This one unlocks his ability to Penance Stamp, which is a classic skill from the Ghost Rider arsenal. So again, we cannot move the Infinity card plays. So what we need to do is to pretty much bundle up as many of these enemies as we can to use um, Judgment on them. So use a uh, Lash. Excuse me. Use Lash on one of the, uh, on this guy here and draw him into the center. I 
right there, we're going to need to use another lash to pull another one into the center. So, again, we pretty much have to defeat these lesser ones and unlock penance stairs. So, a penance stair. Once we do that, we're going to use judgment on the two there. This will kill them both. And with that, we want to use Retribution on the last guy to knock him back into a wall. Taking him out as well. And with that, we got the Pen Stair card. And of course, Salt. Uh, Drain Soul. So, while I'm deciding here, I decided to use Drain Soul on the guy first to at least max out my HP. Now, Penance Stare consumes about 50% Ghost Rider's HP to deal damage. And uh, depending on how much HP is uh, drained, depends on how much damage is dealt. Enjoy. Talk about looking into the face of the Reaper. <laughs> but yeah, that is Ghost Rider's challenge done. So move it on to the next one. So next up is going to be Iron Man's challenge, Iron Will. This will unlock the Hellfire Beam along with his Midnight Sun armor. This once again is going to be a bit of a process to do, which took me a few attempts to do it. You won't get it right in the first round without doing some experimentation, so yeah. We do have the ability to redraw, but that's only for one time. Now what we want to do first, while my pass is obviously taking things out, is we want to redraw new plan here. Doing this will redraw the card and leave it to me. I'll fast off just things to it. There we go. Right, so we're gonna leave it to me. Now we want to use heads up to gain some two bits of heroism that will let us use a uh, precision here. And with that, the leave, leave it to me won't be discarded, so we can use that twice. Now normally, since we see Surgical Strike, we just would use it with Surgical Strike, but not this time around. The name of the game we want to do it here is to draw as many cards as we can. So yeah, we've got pretty much two Surgical Strikes here, which will be very good. So now, you want to use the first Surgical Strike first to hit the Crystal here at least eight times. That's it. Okay, so now we want to use heads up again to gain two more bits of heroism. And with that, we're going to use Surgical Strike one more time to hit it at least six times. And with that, it deals us enough damage to be able to use Blast on it with the three Blast cards we have. We now got the um, Hellfire Beam card, which will damage enemy in a light here. And we can recast it to get some more damage on it, but we can't recast, so let's lose it anyway. Mix 
to Science with Magic. A very nice touch indeed. <laughs> and with that, we got the ability and the armor. So, moving on to the next challenge. Next up, we're going to be doing um, <clears throat> Magic's uh, challenge, Demon Child. This will unlock her skill, Dark Child, which, I think I'm saying that right, along with her armor. Now, this one's a bit different here because the uh, Infinity Guard plays again, roll the move disabled. So, what we're trying to do here is defeat the enemy in the center there in order to gain the, uh, gain the card. So the first thing we want to do is to use Limbo's Grip because, again, every time an enemy goes through a portal, it will take damage when we use that card. So, what we want to do is to do as much damage to that guy as possible, but first and foremost, we want to use um, Trapped All on him to move him towards that green fissure there, because that one applies vulnerability to the enemy, so that is a good way to start. But... Sorry, use Limbo. I think I'm just still deciding here, but either use Limbo Portal or use a uh, Trap Door. Either way, once that's done, use Knockback to get into the uh, Rift. And yep, now it has vulnerability, so it will take some more damage. So now it's just. Now next we're going to be trying to actually knock him into the other fissure to again deal some more major damage. So we're going to have to use trap door for this one to move him about. Again, I'm still figuring things out. <laughs> Again, just pretty much do as much damage to the guy as you can. Which is not too that hard, so the rest of this is pretty basic. This pretty much be smart, use his knockbacks directly, knock him into the walls, into enemies. And yeah, I will pretty much take him down. Green Dark Shark, which grants us invulnerability and taunts all enemies. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the challenge that we had to do, just pretty much survive the onslaught of enemies. And I will admit, I didn't think Dark Shark was... Uh, or out her ability will do this. But uh not really complaining, but if it helps it helps. So anyway, moving on to the next challenge. Alright, so our next challenge is gonna be Nico's challenge, Black Shadows. This will grant us a legendary skill, Crack the Sky, and her armor as well. Now, if you remember her gameplay, it pretty much is randomizing her skills. But luckily for us, that's not the case, since everything's set. Now, we do have a re... re we have two redraws a bit here, and we're going to need it using those. So, while I'm figuring things out in the past, what we want to do first is to redraw the Blood Magic first because that's not going to do us any good since that will just pretty much just do a life drain. So I remove that. Thank you. So we gain a, another double up card. Now this one uh, generates a copy of a random attack card which is going to be Witchfire here. The other double up we have uh, generates another heroic card. So we want to get rid of that power first. So 
And we want to apply strength into Nika here to get a damage boost. Now that we're powered up, we want to use double up to gain our second card. So I use both of them. Alrighty, now that we've got double everything, we want to use a uh, witch storm here on the uh, on the outer one here to at least damage those two four times, well two times each side. Because again, you know that skill damages uh, random enemies four times, up to four times. So, so yeah, hit them both at the same, hit them both twice. Do the same thing for the other two. Free to use witch fire to knock out the rest of them. That's two KOs, and then now for the final one. So yeah, that pretty much damages up to a number of times depending on how much hero using he does. Quite a cool ability, so I didn't read it before, but I couldn't read it on the small screen. <laughs> Alrighty, on to the next challenge. Moving on, we'll be doing Spider-Man's challenge, uh, War Crawler. This unlocks the Infernal Spider heroic card along with his armor. Now in this uh, challenge here, we do have, we can move around two times, but uh, we draw to disable again. So what we're gonna be doing here is just opportunist to give us, uh, basically allow us to use any environmental attacks without using any heroism. So that's gonna be the main objective here. So use this card straight away. And what we're gonna try to be doing here is knocking the bigger one into the smaller ones there. Well, at least the first two anyway. So it gets body into place to line up with that guy and knock him into the smaller one that is just at the end there. Dad, you want to move him to the other coffin here. Uh, okay, just get to right. There he is. Right, so same thing again. Knock the coffin to the big guy, and then knock the big guy into one of the lesser ones. There we go. Now we ran out of moves there, but. We want, so we want to use a special delivery here to gain a move and to take care of the last one, the last lesser enemy. And once we move to the other coffin, knock him back to the big guy, and then we get the Infernal Spider card, which is pretty much a skill card here. And what it does is pretty much makes our next three um, card, three Spider-Man cards. Uh, Free, so it basically doesn't use up any card plays. So, here we go.
Now, just so we don't confuse it here, no, it does not um, draw the cards. It just makes it so the next three cards are three. So it's just to clear that confusion up. Anyway, with that, that is pretty much Spider-Man's challenge done. So, moving on to the next one. Okay, our next challenge is going to be Venom's uh, Brain Buffet, which unlocks the Simulate skill card. Now this one is going to be a bit of a process, since it took me a few times to actually fully get. That being said, if you remember, it does have the Ravage, which uh, increases his attacks for how many stacks you have, but it takes one away every time you use an attack for a row. So, in order to do this, what you want to first do is to use a uh, lethal embrace on the uh, this one here, and what that will do is pretty much damage you enough to do what we need to do. With that done, what we want to do next is to use tendril strike on the two over there, and we want to try and lower it at, at least every enemy at least the ones at the front there, down to 15 health. Now use web, web throw on the uh, fissure there. And with that, everyone should be at least around 15 health. So now what we want to do is to use t Tendril Strike on the uh, this one here that has tasty brains. So use it both strikes on it. This should take yourself down to 15. Now we can use Spike Burst on all of them in the area. With that done, we now got the Tasty Brains and the Insatiable Hunger here. And we will not heroism and some craftiness. We use tasty brains to gain the skill that assimilate. Now what assimilate does is your attack and heroic cards gain the quick stats on them. And every time an enemy is defeated, it also draws either an attack or a heroic card. So yeah, now all our attack and skip uh, heroic cards have the quick on uh, stand on them. Which not only when enemies feed them, you can get another quick card replay, but it also lets you draw another card too. But just be mindful of Ravenous again. You have to admit that at me. Anyway, that is Venom's challenge done. We've got his uh, skill and his new armor, so moving on to the next one. Okay, moving on, our next uh, challenge is going to be Deadpool's 4-4. This unlocks the Burning Sensation Horror card, along with his armor. So, we're, what we're going to be trying to do in here is to build up his uh, Elf Flame Go here. And this is going to be quite a bit of a process we have to do. As you see, we've got one enemy here that has another Spread the Love, and then one that has Pain Piano. So what we want to first do is to spread the love on the one we just targeted and again on the second one which has Pain Piano 
This will take out the one spread. The other spread the love. And do some damage on the one with the pain pinata. Again, do not target one that is um already that will you will KO, it, otherwise you won't get the other bit of elf flame go. So what we want to do next, well, I figure it out, is to use Death from above on the one that has Pain Pinata. Once he figures that out. Alright, so our next course of action is to use Spread the Love again on uh, one that will be KO'd and use it on the one with the 10 HP here. With another stack of health then go, we will be now use Pain Pinata to take out the ones that are only have 5 HP and damage the one that I'm currently targeting. So D3 here. Nope, go back, go back. Again, this is all pre recorded, guys. And hope. Okay, so now. We've got another stack of Elf Lung Go. And what we want to do is to use Mag Dump, on, sorry, um, Death on Above on this guy here. Take him out. And finally, use Mag Dump. And with that, we've got another stack and got the Burning Sensation card. This deals double damage depending on how much Alpha and Go we have. That was all pretty cool until we all just tire himself out. <laughs> oh boy. So anyway, that is going to this challenge, moving on to the next one. So our next challenge is going to be Wolverine's challenge, Burning Claw. This will unlock the uh, Midnight Special uh, skill and use armor as well. So again, no redraws for stuff. So what we want to be trying to do in here is to try and taunt as many enemies as we can because what we're going to do is to counter attack everyone so you smell and feel these on these two now we'll taunt them and gain a counter next up what we want to do is to use lethal pounce and we want to use the full set on the one guy here because that will give us strength and we'll deal more damage so do that straight away after you do uh, smell and feel with strength and on hand what we want to do next is to use chain swipe on um that guy there. No, rather we want to use power slash to uh, not only knock that guy back but give him vulnerability. And at the same time, we want to use it on the other guy who's also taunted. So power slash again, knock back, and oh, and vulnerability. This will help us for when we counter it, counter these guys. So next we want to use uh, chain, use um, eviscerate. On this guy here. Now taunt him and take him down quite a fair bit. Now we want to use chain swipe on the final guy here to take him down. Enough so that when we do taunt counter him, we'll do enough damage. So, finally, use let's do this to have all enemies attack him straight away. Then we got the Midnight Special Hero card. What this one does is pretty much dam 
attacks random enemies X amount of time, the X is dependent on how much heroism it has, and H for each attack increases the attack by a certain amount. So it goes up and up and up. That is very dangerous, especially if you've got Bax Hero, isn't it? So anyway, moving on to our next challenge. Okay, so we're going to be doing Captain America's challenge, uh, Guardian. This one like the shield charge heroic along with his armor. So this is going to be pretty much like Captain Marvel's, which we're going to have to build up a a block in order to gain enough power to defeat the enemy that has um has his shield charge ability. So this is going to be had to be done in a particular order. Alright, so the first thing we're going to have to do is to just quickly use punch on the this guy here in order to get the the best defense on. And you remember, that it's basically gain block or the amount of damage we deal to an enemy. So use that straight away. So now we're reaching the damage we deal. We gain some block. Now we're going to use shield bounce here since we've got it and take these guys out. Sorry. So six, very nice. Now we've got tactician. We won't use that yet. Not until we take him up. That we are going to be <coughs> going to be using tactician to gain some more block and to draw two cards. So we're going, we're going to be using Punch first to, again, get some more block because Shield Bash consumes 25% of block to deal damage. So let's get to it. Down, we got the shield charge ability. Now, this uh, damages all enemies in a straight line, but it consumes all your blocks, so be careful when using it. Now, it doesn't matter how much block you have, it'll still consume it all. No extra damage. So, yeah, pretty much charging in head first recklessly. Alrighty, then, moving on to the next challenge. Moving on, we're going to be doing Morbius challenge, uh, like on Snack. This will unlock the Undying Fury card, and he's a uh, Midnight Armor as well. So, this is going to be a bit of a choosing to attack the right enemy at the right moment. So, what we're going to need to do first is to unlock it, get his uh, Bloodlust card. So, take out a couple of enemies as fast as you can. And again, we're going to have to defeat these ones in order to get the. Um, I don't have fury to use it. So first and foremost, once my get once uh, my pass up gets to this, gotta need to use quick claw on the enemy I just targeted there to knock him out straight away in order to get the next card.
Okay, so next time we're gonna have to use the uh, Mist Form ability in order to gain an attack boost to knock out the one that had a, has 15 HP. Second enemy knocked down, we're gonna gain the bloodlust card. We're gonna use that so all of our cards have the bleed bleed effect on them. Use that right away. So we're gonna use Shadow Strike to apply bleeding to the last After that, we are going to use claw. To deal extra damage to every single one of them, so that's not good. So while past me is trying to watch some stuff out, we're going to be using Shadow Strike on uh, the guy we're targeted right now, and then use the rest on the second guy here we're targeting. So while we figure that out. <coughs> Again. This one here, we pay her here. And with that, we're going to get the next card Feeding Frenzy. And we're going to get the Undying Fury. Now that we've got Undying Fury, we're first going to use Claw on the big one there because it can only work on enemies who have bleed on them. So, yeah. High damage, but only to a target with a uh, bleed on it. And that really reminds me of what the, sh the skill that Dracula was in his fight. So with that, let's move on to the next challenge. I'm almost there. Next up, we're going to be doing Storm's challenge. Make it rain. This will unlock the Hellfire Legendary Heroic, along with her armor. Now, this is again going to be a bit of a work around here. As you'll see in a moment. So we have to feed the Wizards of Memory here to get the Hellstorm card. Now another thing to keep in mind is that, um, as you probably saw at the start there, that these guys have a frenzy on them. So we're going to need to take out, um, not the back two, but rather the three in front of us before the frenzy activates. So first and foremost, what we want to do is to, once my um, pastor gets it right, is to use Gale Force to knock back the guy in front of us into the one that has the Goddess's Blessing card. We'll do that, and then we'll act, use it to activate the next turn effects on the cards we have. And yeah, let's get to it. Now that we've got the live wild card, we're going to be using it on the one that's about to attack us because of the frenzy on him. So we stun him and then we'll be using using the arc on him once and then we'll be using it again twice on the other guy next to him to KO, KO him. Okay, now that we've got the next Archon, we're going to be using both of them to KO this guy so he doesn't attack us 
But also keep in mind, however, that the guards in the back there will, uh, will activate their friends in my yeah, use those two cards. So, it's all part of a plan, of course, because once we take this guy down, one standard resist is going to be used to neglect one attack. But it also puts these two, those two there, in position, because what we're going to be doing next is to use Vortex to knock those two back into those fishes there and KO them. And with that we've got the Hellstone card. Now what this card's done is it uh, deals 15 extra damage for each um, Storm card in hand. But if you use the next turn effect, he will draw two more cards. But let's get to it. That was pretty vicious. But then again, Storm is one powerful character. Say that much. Moving on to our next challenge. Next up, we're going to be doing a Scarlet Witch's challenge, the Witch's Trial. And this will unlock the uh, heroic card, No More. Now, if you remember, this is the card that was used during our fight with Hulk. So, this. We're going to have to be relying on a lot of our skill here. So the first thing we want to do is to quick toss the guy in the back there towards us. Because we're going to be using the hex field to damage everyone around us. So use another quick toss to pull the other guy towards us. Down, we're going to be using both hex fields to damage every enemy that's around us now. Okay, now with that out of the way, we're going to be using hex ball on the guy that has a uh, another here. Since we use Hexbot, it's going to be uh, getting another chain to it, allowing us to cast it two times. Now we're going to cast it on the guy at the uh, top uh, right hand corner there, the one that has another Hexbot. So cast it on him two times and let it rip. And now that we've got a chain of three here, we're going to be casting it on. Guy there, and then two more times on the guy on the left corner. And that we now have the skill no more. When we cast it, it's going to deal a considerable lot amount of damage, but it uses up all of the Scarlet Witch's HP, so careful. So yeah, that move will instantly KO uh, when you use it, so be careful. If you can revive her, be sure to do so. And now on to the final challenge. Alrighty, so our final challenge is going to be Hulk's challenge, Monster or Man. Doing this will unlock the Worldbreaker Heroic card and his armor. Now this challenge is going to require us to uh, get 5 stages of Raven Hulk. And to do this, we're going to have to taunt uh, most enemies in the area here. But the one that has Rampage there, we're going to have to try and take out. So first and foremost, we're going to use Gamma Kick on the one that I'm targeting right here. This will taunt him. And uh, we're going to try and taunt uh, four of these guys because... 
we can then use this card just do this to get them attacking. Now for the guy that has that uh, rampage card there, we're gonna have to stun him first. Or rather knock him back first. Just to get some damage on him. After that we're gonna be using a uh, smash. Uh, stun him. After that we're gonna be using uh, what's the name of the card again? Crush, that's right. I'm gonna be using Cross since it deals uh, extra damage to the stun enemy. Now that we have Rampage, we're gonna use it on the three that are bundled up next to each other. Doing that, we'll get half of all of them. And when that happens, we're gonna use the uh, Let's Do This card to get them all to attack Hulk on the same guy. Doing this will get him to receive uh, four stacks of uh, rage, so it's just going to be four of them attacking him. Now to get that final bit of rage, we're going to be using Gamma Kick because, along with the knockback, it also gains one bit of rage without consuming it. And now that we do that, we have unlocked the World Breaker. What this card does is pretty much damage and forceful knockback to any man in any direction. So pretty much area wide, big area wide. World breaker indeed. I think the whole world just pretty much thought felt an earthquake there. <laughs> and with that, that is gonna be all of the challenges done. That was a lot of work, I'll say that much, people. And that is it for today's video. Uh, a lot of these were pretty t difficult to do for me. They required a bit more thinking than just going in and uh, springing swords. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful, and I did hope you enjoyed it all together. Thanks for watching, leave a comment, leave a like, and subscribe if you can. Take care of yourselves, lots of love, bye bye.